we'll start with the following. Uh, if you remember, we discussed what a proposition is last time. It's supposed to be a statement that can either be true or false, but not both. And this statement was our example. Today is September 14. Last time when we discussed it, it was September 14 indeed. But right now, it is September 21 already. So this statement, its truth value is now false. Okay? What is your name is not a statement or a proposition. Because it cannot be answered by either true or false. Today is Wednesday is a false statement. 12 less than 7 is another statement, but this time the truth value of this statement is false. Please lend me your ears is not a statement. So, yun yung tawag natin doon sa falsity or truth, truthfulness of a statement is its truth value. Okay? Um, we discussed also your negation, that is, when we negate a true statement, it becomes false. When we negate a false statement, it becomes true. And we represent each of the premises symbolically when we try to evaluate the deductive arguments with truth tables. This is what we do. These are the steps. Represent each of the premises symbolically. If you remember, the symbols can be your letters P, Q, and R. Then you create a conditional statement joining all the premises to form the antecedent using the conclusion as the consequence. So you try to create a truth table for the statement, and if it is always true, then the argument is valid. Okay, always true means to say it is a tautology. Pagkuro true lahat ang lalabas. Let's see. Okay. If you have a statement that is always true, again, what is that? It is called a tautology. Ang tawag doon sa table, which involves statements P, Q, P, Q, and R for all possible cases, is your truth table. And then we also discuss your logically equivalent statements. They are logically equivalent if you have a statement which come up with pareho ang truth values niya in the end. Okay? So they are logically they are supposed to be logically equivalent if their truth tables are identical. Now, if you remember, we have, uh, what do you call this? Let me find out pen. Okay. So, if we have 2 to the n, where n is the number of statements here, Then we will have the num this will be the number of rows for your truth table. For example, we have two to the second power, meaning to say there are two statements, say P and Q. Then two to the second power is actually equal to four, right? So you will have how many rows? We will have four rows true, true, then you have false, false. We have true, false, true, false, okay? If in case you have two to the third power, that is you have three statements, then you will have eight. So that means to say if you have how many statements? One, P, Q, R. Then you write it as true, true. So you should have eight. So let me say apat na true, one, two, three, then apat na false. One, two, three, four. So you have one, two, three, four. Then ang sunod sa Q will be dalawang true, dalawang false. Okay, then dalawang true, then dalawang false. And then sa R will be true, false, true, false. And then you will have true, false, you will have true, false. Okay, so meaning to say, pag, pag mas marami pa dito statements, PQRS, you will have 2 to the 4, which will give you 16. But usually, medyo mahaba na yung mga ayon, you usually just have your three statements 
for an exam. Okay? So, two to the end rows, yun yung, if you have N simple statements. Now, we discussed this also. Yes, question. Yung ano ma'am ba, yung sa R, standard na yun sa ma'am, like, given na yun sa ma'am, na diretso na siya, true, false, true, false. Yes. Ang standard form is supposed to be, kaya nga dapat alam nyo yung number, yung 2 to the second, pag 2 to the second, that's equal to 4. So, pag 4 siya, ang first statement would be, say, you will have apat na true. I'm sorry, dalawang true and dalawang false. Dalawang statement kasi, di ba? Tapos, true, false, true, false na. And then, pagka uh, 2 to the third, it becomes 8. So, dapat ang statement mo tatlo, no? At itong isa ito, tatlong statements yan. So, we will have P, Q, and R. So, ang standard yan would be apat na true, okay, and then apat na false. Para maging 8. Tapos, dalawa na lang dito ang true. True, true, false, false, then true, true, then false, false. Tapos, ang R is, yun na yung true, false, true, false, down the line. Okay? Is that clear? Kasi yeah. hindi discuss ko last time, dalawa lang, di ba? Okay. So, if you have your conjunction, true and true, okay, you have true, and true will give us true. True and false will give us false. False and true will give us false. False and false will give us false. Meaning to say, pagka, yeah, pagka conjunction na end, it will only be true if both are true. Okay? So, any two statements, PNQ combined by the word M or its equivalent, sometimes ito yung mga word na ginagamit, but yet while. Form a composite statement called your conjunction PNQ. Okay? Now, let's see. Ayan mo So, logic and reasoning. Any two statements, PNQ, combined by the word or. So, this time we have or. So, pag or, ito ang notation natin ng or, di ba? This one, yes. Yes. Yan. Notation for or. So, the disjunction, P or Q is false precisely when P and Q are both false. Meaning to say, it will always be true to always be true for all cases, they are true, 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 false, false, true, true. Basta or to always be true as long as may isang true. All the rest, pag pareha ng false, yun lang siya magiging false. Okay? So, but again, the difference between P and Q, sa P and Q, dapat parehong true para maging true. Pero sa or naman, basta may isang true lang, okay, true na siya sa or. Pag parehong false, at saka lang siya magiging false. So, the other one is what you call your conditional. So, conditional is also expressed in different manners. So, sometimes, oops, sandali, mamali na yan, ayan, bitin natin dito. You have this, if, if P then Q, instead of P implies Q, sometimes it's rewritten or uh, it is paraphrased as if P then Q, P only if Q, P is a sufficient condition for Q, or Q is a necessary condition for P. So that's the same thing as your P implies Q. So how do we go on with the first table of this? True implies true is true. True implies false is false. False implies true is true. False implies false is true. We need to say it will only be false. Paganito na. It will only be false if we have this. All the rest would be true. Basta implies. Okay? Now, we have your biconditional. A biconditional is a composite statement of the form P if and only if Q. That is equivalent to this. Equivalent to this one. 
Remember, ano, pa, kaila, paano na siya magiging equivalent? If they have the same truth table. So, let us try to take a look at the truth table of this. Ito naman ang sa P, if and only if Q, di ba? It will always be true as long as yung both ends na are true. Are the same, sorry. True, if and only if true is true. False, if and only if false is true. So, basta pareho yung end statements, okay, it will be true. So, let us take a look kung, kung talagang um, equivalent sila. Let's see. You have P implies Q and you have Q implies P. Okay. So, sa P, you have, ito na lang kung titingin ha, true implies true is true. True implies false is false. False implies true is true. False implies false is true. How about Q implies P? Q implies P is ito. True implies true. Okay. True implies true is true. False implies true is true. True. True implies false is false. False implies false is no. What is false implies false? True. True. True, ma'am. True. True, ma'am. True. 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 Yes. True. Okay. So if you take a look, di ba ang kailangan natin dapat para sa dito sa final nito. Ito man ang kukunin natin yung n. So what is the n? True and true will give us true. False and true will give us false. True and false will give us false. True and true will give us true. So take a look at this answer. This is our answer. Okay. Notice na pareho siya dito. True, false, false, true. True, false, false, true. So these two are... Logically equivalent. Equivalent. Logical. Oh, yes, logically equivalent. Okay. So next we have the summary. Okay, for the summary, ito kailangan yung master. So you have I I posted already yung mas mas shorter version ito. Meaning to say, kinumbain ko lahat lahat na sa Nasa FB yung shorter version. So, I hope you already had familiarize yourself with this one. That is, kaya nung saan man siya ma-true ma, ma pag P, P and Q. Here, take a look. This one. Pag N, ma-true lang siya if both are true. Here. Pag or naman, ma-false lang siya if both are false. Sa conditional, mag-false lang siya if you have true implies false. So, by conditional, dapat pareho. Dapat pareho ang sa end nila, end statement nila. So that it will become true. Otherwise, kung magkaiba, basta if and only if magkaiba, then it will become false. So negation, pag true siya, then you negate it, it becomes false. If it is false, when you negate it, it becomes true. Okay? So that's the summary of your truth table.